Well, hey there, folks. It's a minute early, but we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, <laughs> I'm back. Back after quite the hiatus. Had, uh, had some medical issues and was laid up in the hospital for a bit. But we are back. Got enough energy here to uh, get going again. So figure, start out with a live stream. Hopefully I can make it through it. Got it scheduled for a couple hours. Uh... Hopefully I can make it. <laughs> so, uh, we're here on Westby. This is my old school series that I have been doing. We've been following along. And we're going to do a little bit today live. I have no idea what needs to be done. You see, it's 4.57 a.m. Just jumped in the server here. I have no idea what has happened since I have been out. So we're going to uh, discover it together. So we got a few folks in the chat. I want to say hello to uh, Squatch Monkey. Uh, welcome back, Mike. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, we have a new channel member, Brock uh, Towsley. Thank you for uh, binge watching some of my content. I appreciate that. Uh, Jarhead, welcome back. Mike, glad to see you back making content. Well, I appreciate that. I am excited to get back into it. Hopefully... We'll uh, be able to continue this and uh, get some more content out here real soon. We have Rate in here. He says, hello, Mike. And uh, Callie says, man, we're glad you're back. So glad you're doing better. Been praying for you, brother. Well, I do appreciate that. I appreciate all the prayers and thoughts that came my way. I surely needed them. Uh, Binks is here. Good morning. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. Thank you for joining. And we have Taz in here. Poly count Taz. Ooh, that just wins me just doing all that, uh, <laughs> all the commentary there. So, hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Uh, it has been quite some time since I have uh, done any of this. So, uh, hopefully everything's still set up okay. Uh, what are we going to do? Uh, let's just take, check the map real quick and see what we have going on all right thank you brock appreciate that taz thank you all right let's take a look at so we own uh quite a bit of land let's take a look and see what we have do we have anything ready to harvest and um, we do field 80 this one here and this one down here looks like we already have a combine set up down here so we're good to go there uh let's check the animals real quick i hadn't hopefully they've been taking care of the animals uh looks like the 10 over in the other barn look like they're doing good oh, we're starting to get some milk too and oh 30 32 000 liters of milk over here uh looks like we need a little bit of grain over here but we can get that handled at some point all right. Hey, Mark. Welcome to the stream. All right. So it is 5 a.m. Bright and early on this beautiful May morning. 
Uh, we need a truck with a trailer. Oh, we can't use that one. That one is full of mineral feed. Oh, uh, we need to find a truck. Where are all the trucks? Like I said, I have not been on the server. Well, in almost, well, yeah, about a month. Uh, that's taken me that long to get out of the hospital and get recovered. So, uh, yeah, I have no idea what is going on or what has been going on here on the server. Right, here we go. Let's see what's in this truck. Oh, it is dirty. Aha. We can use this one. Let's hose it off a bit. Hose it off a bit. So if you've been following along on this series, uh, trying to use some old school equipment. Now some of the things that we are using it quite old school. Or maybe as old school as we would like. But uh, we're doing the best we can trying to find mods that fit into the theme. Trying to keep it a uh, 90s, maybe pre-2000s, I guess. I know for some folks, that's not really quite old school enough. But it gets difficult you know, with some of the, the mods trying to find uh, things that are old school and, and to allow the gameplay to continue. So, uh, doing the best we can. A uh, few things are not quite... Not quite as old school as I would like, but it's coming along. Okay, and uh, if you if you haven't been following the series, we have we started out with two farms. I had my own farm that I was kind of starting my playthrough on. Uh, that way I could kind of start it how I wanted. Then we had another farm that was a community farm. And by the way, this is open. Uh, if you guys want to jump in this server, uh, feel free. So at all, as long as you're on PC. But we had a community farm, and at some point during the series, we combined farms. And uh, so now we have bought the big, big cow farm on the map, and we're trying to work uh, on getting this uh, up to speed with a lot of cows. So that's where we currently are. We have a lot of land. Um, starting to get some larger pieces of equipment. Uh, but we still need quite a bit, I believe. Alright. Hey, BG Gaming. Love your vids, man. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, Edward says, uh, glad you're back, Mike. And still as mighty as ever. Well, I didn't feel like it. I don't feel like it just yet Edward but hopefully soon I'll be back in action 100% so it looks like we have some canola in this field uh, we'll get a headland around this field then I'll turn a worker loose so that we can do some other things as well Yeah, Edward, it, I know, it's just a, uh, it's a process. So for all of you uh, who may not know, I, I did uh, fall ill. I uh, had a, what well, should have been a relatively minor outpatient procedure back on February 3rd, I believe it was. Next day, I ended up back at the emergency room and uh, ended up with a pretty serious infection in the hospital for six days I uh, had to come out and uh, do some at home uh, treatments and so we've got all that done now it's just uh, get my energy back get my strength back uh, it's been been very taxing on the body so uh, just the littlest things tend to wear me out Surprisingly, even just chatting into the microphone is quite a bit more uh, strenuous than I anticipated. So, uh, if I do take some breaks here during this live stream, it's just me trying to catch my breath. But we will get back to uh, full strength hopefully soon. Each day is better. 
than the previous, so we, we are making progress. Hey there, Fighting Farmer. Welcome to the stream. Hey there, Ethan. Welcome. Yeah, these fields here, uh, when we bought the farm, they were a little bit different. Uh, if you've if you've been following along, you you'll know uh, what I'm talking about. But these uh, the shapes of the fields were a lot different. Most of it was grasslands. Uh, so we did an 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 uh, uh, tongue tied there an initial cut on the grass, got it all built up, and then we reshaped the fields a bit. We uh, did some plowing and some landscaping so we have uh have them broken up pretty good they're they're quite large uh they may not quite conform to the land uh but it, it works out best for uh, doing the uh arable work <laughs> mark don't have to chat so much. Yeah. Unfortunately, it could get quite boring if I don't add a little bit of commentary. So we did uh, make this little... Uh, oh man, it's already 50% full. Down here in the bottom of this field, or between the two fields, we grassed this in. I believe it was a field uh, previously, and so we used the, the low part of the field here as a divider. Looks like we have some weeds over in that field. Feels actually quite large. I am not sure how much canola we're going to end up with. Um, we do have this uh, New Holland uh, harvester here, and we've got the biggest header we can put on it. That's that goes with it. It actually works out really well. Uh, quite pleased with this. So just, uh, on this playthrough, it's the first time I had used this mod, and it's working out really well. And <laughs> why not? It's getting in trouble by Nightbot. Glad to see you here, why not, gaming? Yeah, we probably need another one of these. Uh, running two combines would be a little bit more efficient. Yeah, I do BG gaming. Uh, it is actually one of the uh, best parts of the game, in my opinion, is using some of the, the older stuff, especially stuff that I am familiar with that maybe I used uh, years ago. So I've never driven a combine, but some of the old, old tractors I do enjoy using. So I don't think we're going to make it all the way around the field before we have to empty out. So we'll have to go grab the truck. Tell you the hills on this map are, are rather large. If you look out over there, you can start to see uh, it's quite the elevation change on some of these hills. Yep, yeah, we are not going to make it all the way around. Yeah, 
And I don't remember, I probably should have looked at this before I started the stream, but I don't remember what month I was in when I did my last video on the map. So I'm really not sure how how far along uh, that it has progressed. Oh, we are done. Yeah, one thing about this combine, it doesn't shut off when uh, you're at the uh, at the full mark. All right, let me go find the truck. I could blink. We have so much equipment. Trying to tab through it all would take forever, so we'll just do it that way. I need a couple helpers here on the map. Tell you, it is it has been fun uh, with the multi multiplayer server. Uh, before I got the servers, I had really never played on a multiplayer server, just once or twice, uh, just a very limited time. But it has been uh, fun playing uh, on the server here, uh, getting to know some folks. So definitely, if you are interested, hop over into the uh, Discord channel or Discord for my channel. And uh, there is a multiplayer section. And it uh, has the uh, server info there if you're interested in joining the server. A pleasant view. Yep, I am back. I am back, finally. I'll let this combine get emptied out here real quick. Shouldn't take just a few moments more. And like I said, we'll go ahead and get a headland done. And then we'll turn a helper loose because we have so much to do. This combine does unload rather slowly. There we go. All right, back around the field. There you go, uh, why not? Yep, please hit the like button. That's very important. Now, if you don't like to stream, uh, just uh, click it twice, three times, <laughs> whatever. Now we do, uh, you saw just a moment ago when I pulled up the animal menu, that we do have some cows. Uh, but I do want to eventually get all of the barns. Maybe not full, but all of them with some cows in them. And uh, try to get this dairy operation running. I, I don't know. That, that's going to take quite a bit. Because <laughs> I think there's six or seven cow barns on this, on this piece of property. So, oh, that would be brutal. But I'm going to try to get it going. Uh, that's kind of the goal on this uh, multiplayer playthrough. We did get a big butt. Uh, I think between the last episode or after the last episode, we ended up buying a Seed Hawk Cedar and a Big Bud to pull it. Uh, the Big Bud is old, so that actually fits in with the uh, playthrough, the old school playthrough. The Seed Hawk is questionable, but it's just there's there's not a big old cedar, and so that's the closest thing we could get to uh, that was old school. So we went ahead and bought it.
but the, uh, the, the fields on this map are just so big. And we've gotten so much land that we needed to do something. So that's what we did. Alright, so let's get a helper going here. We'll let him run there. And we're going we're gonna to need to do some weeding, I think, while we get some of this harvesting done. I'm trying to see, trying to get some of this done. Let's see where we have weeds. Yep, all of this has weeds, all of this. So, huh, I need to find a sprayer. I know we have one. Oh, there's one. There we go. We have this old Massey sprayer. Oh, you know what? We also have... Where... I did... Let's see. I think we have something else, too. We do. We also have this one. Let's get this back down to the farm. We'll use them both. This doesn't quite fit. We have the... Uh, saddle tanks on here and you see the the booms there on the sprayer end up clipping into them so not quite uh not quite authentic but it does work and i need some more herbicide let me fill that up before we head down to the farm because i don't think there is it well i don't know if there is a herbicide or liquid container anywhere down there. Let's see what's down here. What is that? That is herbicide. Perfect. Uh, that's interesting, Jarhead. The uh, Concord Cedar. I'll check that out. It's been a while since I've been uh, on any of the, the farming simulator pages or Facebook pages. I have seriously been out of commission. Um, even the uh, DLC release, the news for that, I, I really haven't had the time to go through and uh, check that out very much. Uh, the Go Go Will Go Go Will Rand, bunch of bailers, I guess. Not super excited about it. <laughs> Bailing is not one of the things I enjoy. But. Yeah, it is what it is. I know that would uh, work perfectly, uh, BG, if the tanks could be swapped around. Actually, there's, there's actually room on that bracket. If it would just slide in. I don't know if they normally sit out that far from the frame, but if it would just slide in a bit closer to the uh, the engine cowling there, it would actually work perfectly. <laughs> Enjoy your head. Yeah, I, I've done my share of it, um, but yeah, the bailing aspect is not something I I enjoy too much. So let's get this guy. I think we'll start this one down in this field. Let's get it opened up. I think what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to use course play on this because the fields are so... What is that cedar doing down there? Huh. Yeah, the fields are so uh, misshapen here. Probably be better to use course play, so let's do that real quick. Uh, we'll just do one headland. I think that'll be good. And we're on this field here. Hopefully that will work out okay. So we'll just start him there, and let's see what happens. Yeah, there we go. It's working out good. And now we got to find that other sprayer. Don't remember where it was. There it is. 
There we go. Got the old Massey. <laughs> well, Jarhead, that's kind of part of it, is uh, the collecting of the bells. I know we have the auto load trailers, but uh, I don't know. I don't enjoy that too much. But the. Uh, I do enjoy loading with a. A front end loader but it just gets kind of tedious I, I like doing a few bells but you know when you've got 50 bells eh, I, I kind of just it gets old really fast and the other thing too is with the uh, the square bellers are okay because they they just spit the bells out and you can keep moving but the round bellers I hate when they just get full and you have to back up to collect the little bit of grass you missed. I know there's a, a mod that stops them, but uh, it's just not like it would be in real life because you would actually stop the baler and not pull forwards and then you can continue on. And in game it's just a little bit clunky in my opinion. Edward likes the uh, forage wagon. He despises bailing and picking them up. Yep, we, uh, a lot of different ways to do it. And that is what's kind of cool is we all can pick and choose how we want to, uh, play the game. We are using precision farming on this playthrough, so that's why the weeds are spotty. I have not tried that yet, Mark. I, I actually have not even had a chance to download it. I may try to do that uh, later today. Kind of excited to see what that does. One of the uh, Mark IV specials that he has sent me to use. Well, let's see. Let's check the map here. Is uh oh. Let's, you know what, let's just, I wonder if a worker will go straight. Let's see what happens. Not quite. Let's see. Let me straighten it out a bit. Let's see if it goes straight. Yeah, maybe. All right, I think that our combine is full. It is. So let me go grab the truck. And we will need to go back up that way, I believe. <laughs> Edward. Yeah, you know, it's funny you get overzealous on uh, doing the bells, especially if you're going to wrap them for silage. Get all excited about the money that you're going to make until you get about halfway into it. And Start wondering why you did so many bells. Now we are not uh, playing with crop destruction on. And normally I would stop the combine and back it up and everything. But I'm just going to do this. Please don't hate me. But I am uh, playing solo here. So we're just going to make the best of it get this combine unloaded. Hey uh, Cornell, how are you doing? I wonder what what do we have in the uh, silo? Let's see what we have. Oh, we have all kinds of things. A whole bunch of barley. Bunch of oats, soybeans. Oh man. Now one thing we did do, so we have 58,000 liters of mineral feed. Uh, that mineral feed, if you look down here, it sells for 2160. If you uh, grind it up and make the mineral feed. So we started looking at the prices for barley and wheat and things like that. Well, barley sells for less than a thousand. 
actually like right now it's 531, but the mental feed is 2160, and it's a one for one uh, formula. If we look over here at the, the menu, yeah, so we got the ground barley. So for every 100 in, you get 100 out, and it sells for really good. So we've actually started taking some of the, uh, the uh, crop down there and getting it ground up. All right, so that is emptied out. We'll just leave this truck right here. And then we'll hop back over to the sprayer. Let's shut the truck off. Hop back over to the sprayer. Uh, it looks like it just gave up. It just gave up on us. So uh, I did end up getting a uh, steering wheel for Christmas, and I've used it a bunch and uh, really like it. But one of the problems that I'm having is when I connect the steering wheel up, it doesn't want to play nice with my controller. So I normally use an Xbox controller, and you can probably tell that with my uh, jerky back and forth here on the steering. Uh, but when we go and plug the steering wheel in, uh, let's hop over here to the the uh, keyboard. So right now I have the gamepad plugged in, but when I put in the steering wheel, it messes all these uh, all of these uh, bindings up. And then, for instance, when I come over here to this screen, and I can just use the uh, back and forth uh, joystick or the joystick side to side to change through these screens, well, I'm not able to do that anymore. So. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know if there is a priority setting on the USB interface. I don't know that there is. But it seems like the uh, steering wheel is trying to kind of take over. And I wish it would just stay as like a secondary input. So if any of you guys have experience with that and uh, know what's going on, let me know. Yeah, I don't have the steering wheel plugged in right now. I was, I was messing around with the uh, input bindings. And just kind of gave up for a bit. I uh, just wanted to get through the live stream. So I'm, I'm just using the uh, gamepad for uh, this stream. Now, I guess it probably wouldn't be a big deal if you're just using the wheel with the uh, keyboard and mouse. Uh, but because I do have the gamepad or Xbox controller connected, I'm uh, having a little bit of trouble. Yeah, the problem, Cornell, is it's, it's hard for me, especially uh, in making the vids, uh, trying to do some of the montage shots and things like that. You know, I use the uh, joystick uh, on the uh, gamepad so I can do the pan shots and things like that. Uh, so it's it'd be hard for me to not use it. I guess I could. Uh, I just it would take some a whole lot of getting used to. I think we're about lined up here. One thing I don't like about precision farming is, well, I do like that the weeds are spotty, but because they are spotty, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to see where you have been. We'll have a little bit of overlap here. It won't matter too much. Let's check on that uh, combine again. 
Uh, it looks like it's still moving. Our other sprayer is still moving, so we are doing okay right now. Hey, I was uh, actually a little bit nervous about doing this live stream. One, I didn't know how I was going to be feeling uh, after scheduling it and potentially not feeling well enough to do it. Uh, but so far, so good. Uh, but I, just, I haven't done a live stream or even a recording in so long. Uh, just, it's, it's funny, you get out of practice. And, I, you know, I've made hundreds of videos and it was still a little bit nerve-wracking Pleasant View has a completely redesigned one in the works what is that? is that a sprayer? oh Pleasant View uh Oh, I've missed some chat here. Hang on a second. Why not, uh, controller? Oh, Pleasant View Farms. What happened to the Gleaner? Yeah, so we uh, just upgraded. Uh, we had the Gleaners initially, and they worked out great. But we decided to upgrade, uh, mainly just to, to change up the equipment to the... Well, I guess it wasn't really an upgrade. It was just a change to the uh, New Hollands. I do have the uh, other Gleaner you sent to me. I haven't... Uh, I didn't put it on the server because I didn't know if it was a uh, public mod or not. But I do have that one. But yeah, we, we had the Gleaners. They worked out great. I, I love the Gleaners. But we wanted to just use something a little bit different change things up a bit now let's check on our combine again it is stopped so let me see if I can get this somewhat lined up we'll let a worker go there and we'll jump back over here to the truck and Again, we're going to have to drive in the crop. Ah, uh, okay, Pleasant View. Well, that'd be cool. Again, don't... Don't hate me too much for driving in the crop. We're just trying to get this done. I tell you, I, I have enjoyed this Westby uh, playthrough. Uh, Westby is just one of those maps that just... I don't know, it just... It's, it's neat. It's, it's a really neat map. Um... I don't know. It just looks good. It, it has, it has that feel that I normally go, go for. Um, some of the maps that have you know these big cities and and everything, which are great, uh, but I don't know. Most of my experience with farming communities and and, and the rural life is you don't you don't have those big cities right up next to your farm. I mean, you're 20, 30 minutes away from town normally, so that's kind of, Westby's got that feel to it because there's not a big town uh, location on it. Uh, some of the maps that have it, like, for instance, DJ Modding's that has uh, UMRV that just released, it has a, a great town layout, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Uh, it's just that, me personally, I kind of like the just farming maps. Because it gives you the option to kind of make it how you want it. If you want to add productions or things like that. Yeah, Jason, I agree. It is a classic. Uh, 
they've done done a great job with it now the elevation changes is not something I am used to uh, being uh, from Florida it's pretty flat down here so that's that's not something I am familiar with let's stop this worker and we'll take over oh did he miss a bunch what in the world these daggum helpers yeah so the elevation changes is not something that I would normally see but I do like it it adds a lot of character to the map Let's see, what did he miss? Let's check it out. Where's the... Where's the weeds? Where are the... There we go. Huh, he did miss a bit. Very strange. So we did get rid of the Sadie uh, on the last, I think it was the last episode. Uh, I bought that Sadie uh, animal mixer and that didn't work out. It didn't work out at all. So we sold it and ended up buying a, a mixing wagon. And so that's working out pretty good. I think it's a lizard mixing wagon. I can't remember for sure. We'll get lined up here and I'll check it out. Let's see. Let's get through our to our equipment. Uh, let's see. It's this one here. Yeah, the lizard puma. We bought that. Again, not really old school, but it's the best we could find. We were hoping to have used a uh, self-propelled unit because it has the pickup on the front, so that it could just munch the bells up. And then also go over to the silage pit and pick up whatever silage that we needed. Uh, but everything that had the uh, the pickup on the front that was drivable just seemed to be too modern. So we ended up going a different route and just getting the uh, towable mix and wagon. See, I think there's some weeds down there, but we're not going to worry about that. It's just a few, it won't matter too much. Now one thing we didn't have, or haven't done I don't think, is we put a little silo there on the farm so that we could store the mineral feed, but I believe that it takes say an auger to uh, fill it up with, so I'm not sure if that has been done. We'll check that out hopefully at some point during this stream. Let's check that combine again. It is still running. And let's check our sprayer. It's almost done on the other field. So we are getting some things done, which is good. very much left here in this field. Looking out that way you can see the uh, elevation change it a little bit more visible. And I'm missing some weeds. So one thing, uh, I don't know if you guys have looked into it very much, like I mentioned before, I, I haven't, uh, but I did see uh, something about the new DLC, you're able to bail 
chaff. Is that correct? So if that's the case, does that mean that you have to dump it on the ground in order to bale it? That, that doesn't make sense to me. I, I'm not sure how that will be done. If anybody knows, drop it in the chat. It was chaff or silage or something like that. Huh. So how would you get the chaff into the the baler? Because of a uh, forge cutter is going to dump dump into a trailer. Kind of odd to me. Oh, you can even bail up TMR? Huh. Oh, I got you. So there's a, like a, a probably a tank you would dump the shaft into? Or a bin or a compartment of some sort. Well, that is interesting. Alright, I am going to send this sprayer up to the shop. Because we have got that fueled mostly done. We'll let it uh, get up there and we'll refill it with some herbicide. Because I don't think we can get through another field without it uh, emptying. And then I believe our... Oops. I believe our combine's ready to be emptied again. That's right, Bruce. Sunday fun day. Come on, truck. Let's make it up the hill. And I'll tell you, every single time this combine has got full has been with the auger in the uh, crop. Doesn't that figure? Let's see if we can just back the trailer up under it. Oh, we have some uh, guests joining the party. None other than good old boy. Oh shoot, oh shoot. There's a collision on the back of the combine. Well, I messed that up. I messed it up. Let's just stop him here. <laughs> and then we'll just pull him over manually. There we go. Trevor's excited for the new DLC. Well, I am on the fence about it. It may be cool, it may be neat, but I don't know about it yet. The Pleasant View says that, that he believes you'll chop your silage and then dump the uh, shaft into the baler to make the bales. Yeah, the one thing that that I was hoping that we could that it was going to add the DLC anyway is that it would add corn stalk straw to the maps or or as a crop or something fuel type, but that didn't happen. It was a little bit misleading. <laughs> well, not misleading, I guess it was. We were just guessing wrong, but. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. Who knows? Maybe it'll end up being neat. I'm always excited about new things to add to the game. But bailing is just not one of them. Not for me, anyway. All right, back. Uh, is that going straight? Yeah. We'll let that go. And let's see how much we have in the... 
truck. It is 81%, so we'll leave it there. Uh, good old boy, how you doing? I don't know if you're listening in stream. Let's go check on this sprayer over here that's done. There we go. And uh, oh, it doesn't have much. I don't think it will have enough to get that other field done as well. So we'll send this down to the shop to and get it refilled with herbicide. I tell you, there is not many flat uh, flat spots on this map. If you want to put a building down or something like that, good luck. There's, <laughs> eh, you're going to have to do some landscaping, that's for sure. Tell you what, we'll just drive this down there. Actually, you know what, we'll, we'll send it because we need to hop over and get the uh, other sprayer filled up. So let's get this rolling. Oh, oh, there we go. And then let's hop over and grab the, oh no. Oh, there it is. Thought I had lost the sprayer. Yeah, me too, Trevor. That would have been neat. I know some of the maps, the PC maps especially, have that added, but uh, it would have been cool for it to come for all platforms as a as a uh, DLC, DLC. Let's check the uh, used equipment here and see what we have. If there's anything good that we might can use. Hmm. That that might come in handy. But we do need some more herbicides, so let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, why can you not buy stacks of this? There we go. All right, we got the Massey filled up. We'll go ahead and send it back to the farm. Uh, what is it called? That is a good question. I can't remember what we have. Big shed. Big shed. There we go. Hopefully there's nothing in the way. Alright, we'll get the John Deere filled up. Hey there, good old boy. All right, we'll hit this back down and uh, start start it up uh, on another field. It is hot in my room this this evening. Let me turn the air up a bit. I'm starting to sweat. Could be that uh, just <laughs> wear me out trying to do this stream. You wouldn't think sitting in a chair talking uh, into a microphone would be so uh, taxing. Oops, sorry, I just bumped the microphone there. Hopefully you didn't get too much interference. Oh, there's good old boy. Look at him. Hot riding around. <laughs> oh. Wide open. All or nothing. 
Kind of like the way I drive. All right, we'll get this. Nope, oh, that's the wrong thing. There we go. Nope, that's not it either. There we go. I love this sprayer. It is one of my favorites that is in game. Something I have seen on the back of tractors down here many, many times. So we'll go ahead and uh, let's do another course play course. I am starting to see more of the the larger sprayers, the big uh, self-propelled ones. Some of the farmers down this way are starting to use those more often. I guess they're probably a little bit more efficient for them nowadays. They're able to move a little quicker and uh, cover a little bit more ground per uh, pass. So I've uh, seen, seen quite a bit more of those in use. But yeah, this type of sprayer here, I've seen many, many times. It's something I'm very familiar with. All right, let's go find our little Massey sprayer. There it is. Let's jump in. And stop it. So we do have this big pile of manure over here. And I believe somewhere... We should also have a big slurry tanker. There it is. Because I don't know if we have uh, put out any slurry yet. But we do have a big slurry tanker to use. The cows are making slurry. We'll need to get a manure spreader at some point And start using that. And then this is our... Man, it is laggy here through these cow sheds. And uh, this is the uh, Big Bud. It's just the 450, I think, uh, the smaller one. Got that with the Seed Hawk. And it looks like our combine is ready to be emptied again. So I'll go ahead and get this sprayer set up over here. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do another course play course. What do we have planted here? Is this... Soybeans. Okay. Alright, let's get course play pulled up here. Quickly get a course. That looks perfect. And off we go. So let's go ahead and jump over here and work on the combine. Finally, finally, the hawker is out of the crop. auger on this a combine is just about too short for this header. Let's see what good old boy's up to. Let's see. What is he doing? He's run off. He's down at the uh, shop driving around in the field. Oh, I think he got in the fence. <laughs> Put some fencing decoration down there at the shop, and I tend to get into it myself. Uh, it's kind of hidden there in the bushes out by the road. And if you make the corner a little bit too, too uh, sharp, then uh, it's very easy to get into. <laughs> hey, December. How you doing? <laughs> Good old boys. He almost rolled over. That is not hard to do with that pickup. Right, 
let's see if this semi can pull the uh, trailer up the hill. It's doing all right. So we did put in a silo over here at the farm. We did have the uh, the uh, oh come on a little lag there. Had the the uh, bins over at the other farm, and kind of got tired of dealing with those with as much grain as we were moving. Uh, so we ended up putting a silo in over at this farm. You see it, we're coming up on it there in front of us, and uh, it has to grate that we can drive over and empty out. So a little bit, a little bit easier to deal with. Uh, looks like good old boy went and got and got the uh, herbicide for us. Now, why can I not put anything into? Is it full? Oh no! Is this thing full? Two, three, four. Ooh, it may be full. Oh, well, that's not good. <laughs> Oh, goodness. What are we going to do? Uh, can we put in a silo extension? Why is it not picking it up as a silo? What in the world? Well, that's not good. Hmm. Well, that's not good at all. Uh, hmm. We may have to sell something. We may have to sell something. Let's see. You know what we could do is we could take some of the barley and take it down and I think that's what we'll do. We'll take some of the barley down to the grinder. That'll clear up some space in the silo. At least, uh, at least for now, it's not going to clear up. <laughs> Daggum, December. Quit being a hoarder. That's not me. It's not me. I'd sell it. I wonder why that silo is not allowing me to put in a, uh, a extension beside it. That's kind of strange. Oh, well, we, do we have another trailer? Let's see. We have that little pup trailer. Where's our grain truck? Do we not have that? Oh, man, I, it's been so long since I... Where is this thing? Let's look at it. Oh, it's way over there. Let's see what we have over there. Uh, let's see right here. Oh, it's full of corn. What in the world? Uh. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to do something. All right, good old boy. Do, are those uh, empty? Those uh, silos over here? That's empty. And that was empty. All right, let me go get the truck. Let me go get the... That's not it. We'll put this canola in that silo. Hey, Alex, how you doing? So part of the problem of not being on the server for a while is I just I don't know what's going on but we'll work through it and uh, figure things out no problem we got good old boy in here now he is the uh, farm boss he's the hoarder <laughs> that's why we have 
400 bales sitting out in front of the uh, cow pen there. Oop, I hit the uh, light pole there. Come on up the hill. This is a this is a tough driveway here, especially when it snows. Hey Alex, uh, we we have a lot of equipment actually. Um, best would be to uh, just go back and watch the uh, series from the beginning, see how things were have progressed and what equipment but as far as the fields we have uh there you go we have the green fields the big cow farm down here we have this cow farm field here and then a field over there so quite a bit of land yeah it is a big map we have equipment spread out all over the place so uh, that would take quite a bit of time to show you everything all right, let's see if we can get this emptied out into the auger. A little bit more. A little bit more. No. Uh -oh. It ain't happening. Let good old boy get in position there, and then we'll try and back in. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Hey, Baki. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, Alex, I agree. It's a great map. Weirdly, uh, we lost part of the fence over here. I don't know what happened, but we were deleting some other fences and it must have been tied to it somehow. And we lost the fence, so the cows luckily don't get out. Alright, see if good old boys got it lined up. We'll try and back in again. Yeah, that plow is in the way. All right, let's see if this works. Uh-oh. Oh, a little bit more. Nope. Uh oh that's not good that is not good do we have to have a tractor hooked up to it I don't know Yeah, that's true, uh, Alex. Good point. December. Yeah, hop on the uh, multiplayer server and uh, check it out. We'll let good old boy get over here and hook up the tractor. Oh, oh, oh! He rolled it, folks. On live TV. 
Oh my goodness. Does it ever get old? There you go. There you go, good old boy. <laughs> he went and hid. <laughs> Come on out. We won't make fun of you. We won't laugh at you. Come on back in. Oops. <laughs> oh, good old boy. Rolled the tractor. Uh, links in the uh, description of the vid, Alex. Now, let's see if it'll work. There we go. There we go. We got it, folks. It only took 15 minutes. I guess it would have taken... Uh oh What happened here? What is going on with this thing? I guess the auger must be uh, not able to keep up with the truck or the trailer. Empty speed. That must be it. That or there's a, a trigger issue when it gets lifted up. I'm not real sure. There we go. I think we got it now. All right. Back to the field. I'm sure the uh, combine is ready to be emptied out. I think I can take a left here. It's a little bit shorter. So we may have to look at a different silo or something. I'm not sure if that one's going to work out because it only holds, I think, 600,000 liters. And we are getting far more than that with the fields that we have. So, yeah, we may have to do something different. I, I don't know. Once again, the auger is in the crop. That's okay. There we go. So how many of you guys are playing on Edgewater, Saskatchewan right now? Pretty neat map that came out recently, or well, I guess it was never officially released. I done a early preview on it quite some time ago, and uh, I think they decided to do some changes and updates to the map before they did the official release. So it looks like they got it done, got it to where they wanted it. I have not uh, had. I downloaded it and just took a quick little peek around at the uh, starting farm but I haven't checked out anything else on the map I just haven't had the time I did like that map because it has such uh, oddly shaped fields Alex uh, no well mostly I mostly do American maps uh, just because that's what I'm used to but I have done some non 
American uh, series. I had no problem, Mark. Appreciate you being here. So December, did, uh, you, so you uh, did a little stream on it last night. What did you think about it? It, it's definitely one that you could uh, get in trouble with with the helpers. I think horseplay would be much more useful on that map. Than the uh, in-game helpers. Now let's see how these uh, sprayers are working out. Looks like this one is almost done here. Let's just take over. We'll just finish this one out. I do like using the sprayer. Let's see if I can figure out where the uh, course play course was running. And we are almost out of herbicide, so that actually went through quite a bit of it. Yeah, one thing that I'm curious about, and I haven't had a chance to uh, dive into it yet, is the uh, swathing. Uh, it's just not something that I am familiar with. I guess you cut the crop onto the ground and then pick it up again with the combine. So, kind of... Uh, I don't know, it seems like it's adding work to the process. I'm not sure why you would do that. Uh, but my understanding is that the uh, pickup header, I think that BC Bueller had released uh, to go along with the map, gives you a 20% bonus, I think it was. Kind of grabbing those numbers off the top of my head, I believe that's what I read. So, a little bit extra work but you would get uh, well, a bonus to your yield. So, I don't know. Uh, could be interesting. Could be a lot of extra work. And I'm also interested to know how helpers would do with that because I don't know that the in-game helpers would be able to uh, manage that. So you'd probably have to use course play or do it manually. I got you, Taz. So maybe in wetter climates where you don't get the uh, the drying that happens while it's standing, uh, you go ahead and cut it so that it stops the growth and goes ahead and it helps it start drying a bit. I got you. Well, that's a good info. Good info. All right, so that is done. That's, you know what, let's get head over there because I don't know if it's going to finish that build on that tank. Let's see if we can help out the, man, that Massey is struggling to get up that hill. <laughs> So I guess that would be um, more for a uh, climate that is wetter when it's time for the uh, wheat to be harvested. And I guess that would be something that would be done fairly consistently year after year. Uh, I've never seen it done down here, but I think we get hot enough that <laughs> everything dries. I know even with hay down here, uh, in the summer times, uh, they'll cut it and sometimes bell it the next day normally it's a couple couple three days later but it dries off really really quick we don't use tethers normally down here they'll just usually uh, run run through it with a rake and uh, flip it a day or two after cutting let it get a, another day or so half a day or so of drying 
and then bailing it, it goes really quick. I'm not sure how much herbicide is left in that little massy sprayer, but we'll just continue helping out over here on this side. Actually, you know what? I bet our combine is... Oh, it's still running. I think good old boy has abandoned us. Let's see what he's up to. Oh, boy. He got it. Oh. He got a, a chopper. Got a chopper. We did do a bunch of silage. A bunch of grass silage. We used a couple loading wagons and dumped it over into the uh, the silage pit. I believe there are some still in there. I'm not sure if uh, it has all been sold out yet, but we had had a bunch in the, in the uh, silo. I think it was, uh, I don't know, good old boy may remember, to, close to 2 million liters of silage. And that was all grass silage. So with what we have in the silo and all those bales sitting out beside the cow barn, uh, we have a little bit of money in the bank. We're actually doing pretty good. We're doing, doing pretty good, I think. Uh, probably end up buying some more cows here very soon. Kind of get that rolling. And then maybe you look at doubling up some equipment. Probably another harvester at some point. Or two more. And then we're probably going to have to do something with the silos. I don't know uh, if we'll replace that one. Or drop another one down somewhere. Probably replace it. Which means we'd have to empty it out. So I... <laughs> I don't know how that'll go. Hey there, David. Uh, Czech Republic fans. Well, hey, welcome from across the uh, across the way. Glad you could join. It's really cool to have folks uh, in different countries watching. That is uh, really neat. Let's go back. I missed a little spot back here. Let's grab that real quick and then we'll meet up with the with the uh, little massy sprayer. We're almost out of herbicide. Missing a bit, but that's okay. I think that Massey is stuck on the other side of this hill. It gets over here and can't make it up. Yeah, it's struggling. All right, we'll just peel off there. And uh, let's hop out here. And go stop it. There we go. Get it folded up. And hand it back down. Yeah, I think I'm good, uh, good old boy. I think, uh, let's see, is there any other fields that need to be weeded? It does not appear so. So we're good.
Actually, you know what? I'll just go ahead and drive this up the hill here, I guess. See if we can make it. Might need a push. Oh, probably shouldn't be driving up this hill. Oh, it's not going to make it. Is it going to make it? Well, that was probably not very wise. <laughs> but we made it. Come on. There we go. There we go. I'm just going to park it right there for now. Oh, did I not turn super strength off? I did not. I have to have that handy for uh, good old boys. Rollover incidents. And we'll get the uh, John Deere off the field. And I think we'll be ready to head back over to our harvester. Yeah, one little spot down here we'll grab. There we go. Weed free. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. So just gonna leave this here for now and let's go check on our combine yeah he's still moving he's still moving let's see if we can catch him on this outside yeah I think we can oh he didn't he didn't have very much in the tank that's okay. Go ahead and get him emptied out. He can keep running. So while I was uh, laid up in the uh, living room in the uh, recliner, uh, hooked up to an IV, I wasn't able to. Oh, why is he going? Stop, stop, stop. I wasn't able to get to the computer, nor did I really feel like it. So I actually was playing, eventually started playing some uh, farm sim on the Xbox. I hadn't played on the Xbox in a while. So I loaded up No Man's Land, and I just had a, really didn't know how long I would be <laughs> playing in there. So I, uh, started a little playthrough on no man's land and my goal was to make a giant field on no man's land so that's what i started doing i got one uh, that spans across three properties three or four properties it's a pretty big field and so i've been working on that uh it's been fun but i did miss playing on the pc That go. How are we doing here? We are half full. All right, let's go over here and check on good old boy and see what he's up to. What has he got going on? Uh, looks like he's getting ready to do some tillage. So this is the. Uh, a little mixing wagon we got for the cows uh yeah not it's not really old school but it's kind of the closest thing i could find i mean it does kind of look old kinda so that's what we got uh to use and uh, let's see do we need any food for our cows uh oh they're full up 172 so we need to let some of the silage and hay go down so that we can add some more grain in. Uh, these ones over here, they're full too, and looks like they get a pretty good mix on it. Uh, we got some milk. Let's let's sell some milk. 
Uh, so we got this big milk trailer, and I think that we need a big tractor to pull it. We gotta have a big tractor because it gets really heavy. Uh, what do we have that we can pull it with? Oh, let me hop in the truck here and move it. This good old boy has got some plowing going on. And I think what we'll do is we'll get the big butt. It's a little bit slow. But I think we're going to have to use that. There we go. Yeah, the milk trailer gets really heavy. So we'll use this. And we'll make a little bit of cash. I'm not sure how much manure we have there. Uh, it looks like a pretty big pile. Now I need to figure out where do I get the milk <laughs> out of these sheds. Sorry about that. I had a little coughing fit. Got choked up. All right. Can we get the milk out of these containers here? doesn't appear. Where are the milk triggers? This is the first time I have when I'm driving all in the crop there. Just turn your eyes away. Maybe it's right here in the front. There's the milking machine there. Maybe it's right here. Does anybody know? Good old boy, do you know? Oh, shoot. Oh, uh, let's see. Where's the milk triggers? Uh, maybe it's in the back. It did, Mark. It did. Uh, yeah. It's amazing once you uh, play on the PC. After going back to the console, it's <laughs> it's just uh, it's frustrating. Okay, the good old boy's got me more. Oh, that's uh, silage, or that's uh, slurry. Oh no, that took the slurry. Is it over here? Let me empty this. I'm just going to do this for... Uh, I know we're going to waste some... Some... Uh, slurry, but that's okay. Why is this not letting me fill up? We may have to get closer. There we go. Aha! We have success. <laughs> Jason, I know, man, it's, uh, it is tough playing back on console, which, you know, my kids play on the console and from time to time we'll play in the living room or something with them. But, uh, yeah, it is, it's really tough going back uh, to console after playing uh, on PC. All right, so we got that mostly full. I'll run across the way here. I think there's about six or 7,000 liters in the other barn. We'll grab it, then we'll run down and get it sold. 
Should be a nice little, nice little profit. Look at all these bells here. We've got to get rid of these bells. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like I said, the uh, big bud's a little bit slow, but we'll make it over there eventually. <laughs> Good old boy, he was saving something for me to do. Nope. He's got his little chopper set up over there. Be able to get to that in this stream. I don't know. It's getting. Uh, I don't know. I might not be able to. Come on, big bud. Let's get up the hill. So where is the milk trigger over here? That is a a real question. Oh, I know where it is. I've passed it. It is back at the uh, front of the barn, down there near the house. There we go. And so we ended up with 40, just over 40,000 liters. Not too bad. Be somewhere between 75 and 80 thousand dollars, I believe. Yeah, it seems a little odd pulling this trailer with the uh, Big Bud, but yeah, with all that weight on the trailer, uh, it is heavy. It gets really heavy. I know some of the modders, uh, when they create uh, the mods, they'll have it where the weight is, uh, I guess it just, it doesn't affect the uh, dynamics. They kind of zero out the weight of the goods or the products in the in the containers but this one does not uh, this one actually you got to deal with the weight fighting farmer appreciate it I uh, thank you for uh, hanging in there during the stream and appreciate the uh, kind words we'll be back to 100% uh, soon I hope thank you for uh, hanging out with us We're just going to sell this down here at the sell all container, one of my favorite mods. Hmm, there we go. The trigger was a little tight there. Let's see how much we'll get from this load of milk, courtesy of our cattle. 48,000. Wait, did I thought... Oh, it's only 11.95. I was thinking it was 1,900. Ah, okay. Well, I was way off. All right, so we don't drive back and forth or spend it driving back and forth. We'll let our trusty handy dandy helpers get us back down there. And let's see how our harvester is doing. 
Uh, where's my truck? They had, uh... He stole my truck! Good old boy stole it. <laughs> That's okay. Let's see if he can back it in. He's flipped a tractor. He's done something else he didn't tell us about. <laughs> what can go wrong here? I have to pick on good old boy. I only pick on people I like. Alright, he's getting that dumped out, looks like, without any problems. So, let's see, what do we have going on? We have the harvester over here. It is only about halfway done. We really need another harvester. Yeah, let's take a look over here. So, we did buy... Uh, we bought this... This Volvo. Uh, this was... The, uh, early... Release, or early... Purchase bonus for the uh, season two. Oh, uh, season two pass. So we have this here with the uh, the forks there. So we did. Yeah, we had this entire thing, our entire bunker, full. And so it looks like some of it has been sold off. Uh, so yeah, let's get this cleaned up here while I'm standing here I'd never used this uh, since getting it so I figured uh, it's, it's old it kind of fits in with the uh, the playthrough we needed a wheel loader so it worked out I think the silage fork holds around 10,000 liters or so, which is quite a lot. Yep, 10,000, 15 liters. So we'll just leave that there. We'll uh, sell some more of that at some point in the future, but that's a pretty cool little uh, wheel loader that came with the uh, early purchase for the uh, season two I think that's what it was from yeah that's what we did Taz is I had it so I bought it and uh, everybody can can use it it's pretty neat so uh, let's see what do we have going on we do have a trailer over here I was trying to get my head around what we have going. Got a big bud back in, in the uh, yard, so let's go ahead and stop that. We turn around here and park this trailer back where it goes. Yeah, it's up to you, good old boy. If you want to get it. I know we've been talking about it. We keep buying land. <laughs> and uh, it's just more to do. Ooh. But it'll all pay off here at some point. Alright, so... Let's see... Did, uh, did the combine get full? It is still moving. Uh, let's see. I think what I want to do... I don't know if we have used any of it. Let's check the uh, mini real quick. I know I'm kind of all over the place on this stream, but I, I just don't know what's going on so we're trying to so we don't quite have enough slurry so i was going to go ahead and put some slurry out but i think we'll wait on that 
we'll go ahead and just pull this back here. I'm not going to hook it up. We'll just stop it. So yeah, we'll wait on some slurry. I know, Squatch. I tell you, after being being out for so long, just lose track of what's going on. Let's check the uh, combine real quick. Yep, it's close to being full, so we'll go ahead and just stop it and get it, get it emptied out. That good old boy standing out in the field. Nope, nah, he's gone. <laughs> I tell you what, Mark Thor, that tractor right there sounds so good. We'll just listen for a minute. What in the world? The helper quit. Yeah, I really like that that tractor, the sounds of it. <laughs> no kidding, Squatch. He just said, go, I'm gone. All right, back in the combine, we'll get this thing rolling again. Yeah, we definitely, definitely going to have to get another combine. I think that'll need to be one of our next purchases once we clean out the silo. Let's see how much... Uh, yeah, we're good there. So... Uh, what are we going to do? Where's, where's that chopper? You know what? We got a few minutes left. Good old boy, you want to do some chopping? We need to get a trailer over here to put it in, don't we? Let's do it. Let's do it. What are we going to put it in? <laughs> He's got another combine. You read my mind. We'll let him get a, a trailer and pulled over here, and we'll just hang out for a minute. Oh, let's see what's coming down the road. Got us another combine. Look at that. Yep, yeah, we needed that for sure. Oh boy, he missed a turn. <laughs> Let's see, I think we have a, we have a wagon. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's buying things. I hadn't used this chopper yet. I've been wanting to. Uh... Well, that's actually some pretty good details. Let's zoom in a bit. Let's try something here. Uh, let's go to 40. Let's actually go a little bit closer. 30. Look at that. How nicely detailed is that? That's very nice. Very nice. I like that. A little bit close there, but that's 
Really, I, that panel over here is really nicely done. Very nice. All right, let's reset that. Looks like he's ready to go. All right. All right, folks, let's do a little bit of corn chopping before we run out of time here. They have been wanting to do this on a live stream and just have not been able to so far. But that, uh, wow, that animation's <laughs> a bit off. Hopefully some of it's going in the trailer. I'll get down here and turn around and come back down the hill, good old boy. That's what it looks like, doesn't it, Mark? Just ain't quite picking it up. That looks like it's smoothed out a bit now that the, uh, the mound has developed there inside the uh, trailer. Woo! Thing turns really quickly. Good deal, Brock. Always good to have a little background noise. I know I find that to be useful uh, when I'm working. Now, obviously, this. Uh, this chopper here is not as big as some of the modern ones so we don't have a huge pickup header like you may find on some of the, the more modern machines they have some pretty wide uh, cutter heads but uh, this will do it's, it's doing okay what is this uh, four rows I think maybe six I can't tell but uh, it's doing okay and uh, take a little while but uh, it is old school six head. Okay, thank you, good old boy. Or six row head. Man, this thing, <laughs> when you're not cutting, it gets on it. Yeah, it would, Mark. The only problem with that is our field is so big, we would be emptying out very, very often, so... This will work out. We have a lot of corn to chop. Yeah, that's working out pretty good. The animation there on the <laughs> discharge chute isn't great, but 
Yeah, I like it. I like this uh, chopper. I have no idea where it's shooting. <laughs> it's going somewhere. It looks like he is almost full. In that trailer. I don't know what the inside view looks like here. Not too bad. Can't really see the edge of that head up there with the corn. It's a little difficult to see. Jump back out. Oh, oh, he is full. We'll stop there. So, I actually think that's probably going to be a good... Good uh, stopping point. We've done uh, quite a bit on this playthrough today. Got a lot done. This was a uh, tough one for me to come back to with everything that's going on. Uh, so appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. I probably went and uh, as smooth as it could have been, but just trying to get back in the hang of things. So uh, thank you guys. I thank you for joining in and hanging out with me. Hopefully we'll get back into a more consistent uh, content distribution schedule very soon. So uh, thanks again. Thank you all for all the support. And uh, we're going to catch you next time. Y'all take care.